Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler and welcome back to RimWorld. I've spent all the last couple of hours just combing this place looking for all the little maintenance things, all the little homework that you know it takes so long to do when we're in an episode doing other things. So I think I can let this run for at least a little while though. I need to make sure that Klaus does talk to these guys. Who down here? Marin Mirandel. All right, go talk to Mirandel. You are down here anyway. I had you assigned to go fill a bunch of these torches up, so we're starting to get some light back into here. But um, actually, I'll pause it because he's going to get there, and I'm going to lose all my train of thought. So um, things like Andy filling in the uh, or resetting the, the traps for who knows what. We haven't had some excitement in a while, so I would imagine something's going to pop this time. Um, I've been watching animals come up and raid the the stuff out here, wild animals, and we expected that they would. But it's getting a little annoying. At least some of it is possible to fence in a little bit. We don't really have fences. Yes, I know there's a mod for it, but uh, I can put up a wall here and, and designate it as no roof. So we can do something like that. And get that you know, I was able to expand the uh, the zone that way and get more out of it so we'll do that I set Alicia to plant uh, to growing she's a, se a skill of seven I think it was so she can assist sangria and rabbit and get all this stuff done um, so handy set to do those uh, other things that I got to thinking about like animals I set up a what we have here the animal safe zone I, I, I renamed it so that's the one that's indoors down in there in the in the purple and that's fine then I moved into the what's now the dog area so the dog area keeps them out of the traps or out of the gauntlet and allows them the full run of the house let's put it that way and basically so they can do hauling through this whole area over here and I've not let them go up too far we're going to keep the dogs a little bit safer. We're going to make the wild boars a little more expendable than the dogs. So they're going to be up hauling out stuff from the outside. They're not allowed inside the house. They're filthy and they leave filth behind. So kind of separate the two categories of haulers based upon what their, their skills are, what their, their advantages are. So I'm kind of rethinking how we're doing that. Then we've got our grazing zone over here and uh, kind of rework that a little bit and then I got to thinking yes the boomalopes are the ones that are making the chem fuel I have never seen um, a sangria milk one of them what are you doing right now you're taming a wild boar I've seen a training I've seen a lot of training I've seen a lot of plant cutting <clears throat> cutting down trees a lot of sowing a lot of taming, a lot of what have you. I've never seen milking boomalope. So that's that's what caught me there. If I had seen her do that, then it would have reminded me that I have read that before. That we do... Uh, you're eating, aren't you? You look funny looking straight at me. Um, so that's where our mysterious chem fuel has been coming from. But what makes chem fuel also goes boom when they die or get injured or a wolf sneaks in and bites and then you know whatever it's always a little risky um, um, rescuing and healing a boomalope that is just about ready to die you do you do I risk losing my doctor in the explosion trying to put bandages on on that beast so it's time to get them somewhere else we talked about that long ago grab um, boomalopes and give them a, a uh, grazing area I threw this up as an example but that's too small and I can get a second purpose out of this grazing area too so I think we're gonna put a double granite wall up out here so that if we do get raids in this side they're probably not going to go for the punching through a double wall. They might. Triple wall it would be better, but I don't, I'm not sure how the game is specifically set up as far as at what point do, does it, you know, layers of walls equal the side of a mountain and we're gonna, not even going to try. Single wall they'll punch through. I've seen that happen too many times. So what I'm thinking of is leaving our access over here. That's our, our, our perimeter access for this side. 
Otherwise, if we need to get up in this area, we'll go out our gauntlet and go up and go into that area. In between here, no doors, just wall. And then cut a tunnel through with probably a triple door system over here in case this ever is breached, or at least a double door. And we'll start with double doors. And then a single door over here will be fine. Do we even need a door over here? The double door there, maybe not. But I'm going to leave it one wide just in case we decide that that is important. And then basically a boomalope barn in here. Boomalope grazing zone. Animals. Right in there. Once that is up and running, we can extend the grazing zone for all the animals the 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 alpacas the the doe the uh, the the wild boars that are not trained for hauling yet whoever lands in this generic one as to also cover that whole area so that during the day they can roam through and grab some grass over there since none of it seems to be able to grow over here i was going to say because they're eating it as fast as sprouts but we still have nothing growing over here i mean just the occasional bramble and that's it so it is Interesting. This is gradually spreading a little further, but we're, you know, ninth of summer right now. We're heading into autumn soon. In fact, when we get to, uh, we've got, what's that, uh, five, six more days of summer, and then seven or eight more days of autumn, and we're done with growing. So, yeah, we've, we've got to really double up our efforts here and get as much of this stuff done and brought in, or we are going to be relying just on two greenhouses. And yeah, that's a little iffy. We started last winter with a full refrigerator, or real close to it. So I hate to, to test just what we can get out of here. Though, speaking of out of here, um, you guys are not tearing them up, are you? You are tearing them up. Oh, man. I thought that was changed. I, saw, I switched a fuel from one thing to another one time, and they didn't seem to bug it until they had harvested then they replanted and I thought oh good they fixed that but apparently they didn't we're gonna gut everything out of here and put in corn anyway we've got plenty of herbals now we're maxed out here and with time though only half of it now right here all right I thought, I thought we we're gonna get one last harvest anyway there's what's that five by six there's 30 more in there so over here that's 51 we've got plenty of herbals now uh, don't have any up in here. So if we do start to actually run through all this, we've got a, a time span on this. Two years seems like a long time, but we haven't used a lot of this lately. And, uh, you know, two more winters and we're going to see a whole bunch of rotten herbals sitting in our shelves. So we've got to, because uh, we're not really using the herbals as much now, we're now making more blue. So we're using that for the most part. Anyway, so I've cut the size of the herbals down to half put corn in there and we got way a, a whole lot of cotton right now so stripped out the cotton we're going to put in what is this corn over there as well because the only corn i've got going is are these these little strips over here so it didn't really get a real corn patch going so we'll put corn in there and we've got the potato over here and the rice over there extend a little bit more of the hay grass see if we can get one last big burst out of all this anyway things like that that's what i spent the last couple of hours doing going through and and really thinking about layout in here in fact i got into a little bit over here this right here uh i went ahead and laid out uh, marble stone for the flooring inside the hospital we'll say hospital bedrooms versus the the surgery uh, because we got dirt over here so we can smooth some but we can't smooth it all and i like for them to look consistent over here, we're going to have the sterile flooring, the silver flooring in there. So that dirt will be covered, but we can't really get into it until the water is gone. In here, just be smoothed. That's the, the bedroom, the, the, the doctor's quarters. All the bedrooms that we can will be smooth. Smooth gives you a plus two on beauty. Uh, the stone floors gives you a plus one. So we may as well go with the smoothing while we can. Though the smoothing does take a lot more time to make. That's true. Um, what else down in here? Got more of the torches set up. I'm just waiting for, for them to, to fill them in. Um, glance down at my list here. So traps are being reset. The boom loop grazing area. Animals, I've got them reset to their proper areas now. Um, torches, we got the more kibble last time. They just got to get them made. Not much. 
You were, I thought you were eating kibble. You were. You moved a little bit. Milk fullness, 40%. Male. Eh? Male. Milk fullness, 82%. Male. Milk fullness, 34%. Am I missing something here? Um, yeah. And yes, we still have two alpacas. I got this 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 request to please don't kill the alpaca. Let's let's just sell them. And I thought, okay, we did it with the deer too. All right, we'll we'll sell those to the maybe the traders down there. Um, now, Lady Shell was wrote in quite concerned about the um, uh, the shells <laughs> that they could go boom if they're out exposed. If we were to get a lightning strike or something like that, yeah, there's there's a thing there. I guess that's I hadn't put that much stock into it but that's quite possible um i've never had one explode but maybe they're more volatile in the later editions of the game than i've played um we could do something like this you know grab wall and just build right around this guy right here with a door and a door no space in front of it and they can grab you know open up the door and grab the shell and it can stay right where it is so we'll be building a wall across the front of this, over, down, and attached to this wall here. And I guess if we're worried about fire, then it would be granite walls. Do something like that. And just have one set of shells, I guess. That should be more than enough. I'm just thinking distance-wise. If we're really trying to, you know, take down a siege that is set up over here or something, I kind of like to have as few delays as possible. Opening doors is, is a delay. Though, we've got to think about doors and the gauntlets. These guys can be broken down pretty easily. And if somebody wants to shortcut it here, even shortcut it right there, they've got access to everything. So, um, sappers coming in with grenades, dropping a grenade in there, all the doors blow. Suddenly, they're skipping the whole gauntlet, just dropping right into there and going right in and saying hi. So, once we get a little bit of calmness, maybe after the trade is done, maybe one door at a time, Let's start setting up granite doors. And some of these need to be auto doors. Granite doors are really slow. So I'll auto door there. Auto door probably down at the bottom right here and right here. So we can run through and go out. And then one pathway going up. Probably right here, auto door. That might be enough. And I'm hoping that they will then naturally track to the fastest door to go in. We'll see. If they're constantly going to this door, this set right here to go through, then we may have to alter that pathway to there and there. But this would be the easiest one to do, and this group over here would be the easiest ones to do. So there's that to think about. Um, wood piles. Yeah. Quiet Mirth brought up a point that was quite valid. I liked it. We we're having trouble with this going you know getting refueled although that's mostly just because i have nobody set as a one to hauling because they'll just end up hauling and doing a lot of the jobs the dogs and pigs would do and no point of that but if we were to get wood stored in this area i couldn't get it any closer we're pretty well filled up in here i guess i could go right there but we're trying to eliminate the clutter in this room so that it's got as much beauty as possible so this room is considered outside now so i guess this would be the place to do it um so in there, and then another one over here at the at the uh, the generator, the wood fire generator. So I've got one right there. So as we get more wood, since they're all the same, uh, I could take these other ones down a notch so that we're filling these up pr primarily. That that does make sense. Let's take you guys back down to important. You, and you're the same as this. So copy and paste, and you are. Basically, you're, you're all of it, too, so let's just paste you as well. Okay, these three are just wooden steel. Bring them in and use it to build what's going on over here. Okay, well, that's that one. Anything else before I let this thing go? Um, we got assault rifles researched. We got uh, precision rifling research last time. Let's play with that. Yeah, add bill. Assault. Oh, you're here somewhere. There you are. So it's not alphabetical. Okay, add assault rifles and bring you to the top. How far up? Explosive shells, assault rifles. Let's go to the very top. 
let's do that and let's do hmm let's just do three times let's not say until we have an extra because that's that's too random it won't work for that one um details um any distance there's no choice what to make it from uh drop on floor is fine and whoa 750 work wow hmm 60 steel seven components there's 21 components gone right there let's take you down below at least incendiary shells we have six explosive shells right now let's get some incendiary shells made so that we can light fires around sieges so they have to stop and clean up their own home zone and stop shooting at us while they're doing it okay I like that we'll get three assaults we have two already that's five and there's at least five good really good shots in here now to equip them for assault rifles should work well I was gonna say they should work good for the gauntlet but really the auto pistols work really good for the gauntlet because we need to be able to pull out of there before they start shooting with their auto pistols and the assault rifles got such a longer cooldown time than the, the pistols do hmm okay all right let this thing go I think so handy don't you make a mistake over there uh uh <laughs> I guess we're trading. All right. We've got almost 1,400 silver right now. Oh, good. They've got 925 available. Marin Mirandel. Okay. So what do we want to buy from them first? I always start with them. That way it boosts how much silver they have for us to take from them when we go through our stuff. If you start going through and, and you've, they've already run out and you're only halfway down your list, then you got to go back and add silver back in by buying stuff from them. So we may as well start with them. Chocolate? Yes. Thank you. Mm. Meats? No. Agave fruit. 143 is a decent price. It's not the best price. It's not green, but that's not bad. It gives us a variety. Let's think about that. Not a priority, though. Chem fuel. Well, we're making our own now, so no. Uh, Nutramine. Yeah, we'll grab 50 more. We have 30 right there. Let's grab 45 more, and that'll make us. That'll give us a pile of 75 total. Minus 375 now. Okay. Components. We've got a lot available to us. We have 53 now. We're gonna use 21, but there's still a lot of components in the mountains. And there's still a lot of ship's parts to be torn down. So there's no point spending that kind of money right now. Cloth, they have 269 to sell. We have 650 in stock. Oh, and 743, and 39, and 39. Whoa. Okay. I wonder, and this is worth half the price of that. So this is quite degraded. Let's go ahead and give them that pile. Could do the same. No, nah, no point in that, but we obviously have a lot stockpiled. Our stockpile is probably couldn't quite full of that stuff. Okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, more of their items they have. Steel? I am getting a little worried about steel. You know, I've kind of taken a stock of, of the various veins that we know of. And there's quite a bit out there. But we've got a lot to, to make. You know, we add up all of the just the, the helmets and the, the assault rifles and all those sort of things. Then you get into all the light bulbs for that entire base, all the conduit, all the um, the turrets, down all of the turret chases for the, the bug defenses through the, the bedroom blocks and you know one in the freezer and, and what have you. Um, wherever else that steel is used, there's, there's still many more uses. You know, the, the hospital beds and you just go down the list. We could probably have a good 3,000 steel still needed to finish off the base. Let alone expendable turrets every time we get a, you know, a, a psychic ship or something. Yeah, I'm not ready to spend that much money right now yet. So we're, we're going to keep that one in mind. You know, as far as, as you know, kind of really watching our steel numbers as we get uh, further and further along. Um, clothes to sell us? No... Uh, headdress, cloth toque, headdress, um, what are you? You are a steel simple helmet. We are making our own now. <clears throat> Same with that one. 
Psychic foil helmet. It wouldn't hurt to have a backup on one of those. Seems like Klaus was getting pretty close to breaking for a while there when that, that psychic ship was over the top of us. Though I was, you know, I was working him to death too, but uh, yeah, I think so. That one might be a, just a good insurance policy. Um, and they're so fashionable. Wood shelf, no. And a muffalo wool bedroll. <laughs> mm, toast, toasty warm. Ostrich leather armchair. Ooh. And that is it. So they don't buy our animals. Darn. And they won't give us a value even if we tried. Okay. All right. So that took 750 out of us. We need to, to uh, get, what is that? 1,674 of their silver back. Can we do that? Let's run through our stuff. Insect meat. There's four left. Let's dump the last four. Uh, kibble, no, we're barely keeping up with that. Muffalo meat, well, we got a lot of muffalo meat. Uh, venison, berries, and more berries. 65 and 41. These have been slightly rotted, sure. We'll get rid of that little stack. Uh, corn, I think all the rest of the stuff here is fine. Five raw fungus left, we'll hang on to it. Um, Nutramine components cloth we dumped the the little stack now we've got all of our leathers and you, you kind of want to get rid of quantities that are not enough to make something out of for short term but for long term we have two mega sloths up there we're probably going to hunt so we can add those two to the the 50 or 100 that are still coming in and, and we don't have a shortage there so that's not you know, i don't just dump them because they're low numbers i dump them by thinking about whether or not we're going to get more and hyperweave we're not likely going to get more so that i will get rid of there's only three um rat i don't see us hunting a lot more rats we'll get rid of that one but everything else here are things that although goat hide that's probably a one-time shot that where did we get goat hide goat hide is that ibex maybe that's ibex maybe that's lumped together okay uh squirrel timber wolf tortoise we'll have a lot of of uh uh target practice ahead of us so yeah we'll hang on to that too all right warg steel we've got wreck okay to our clothing let's get rid of most everything that isn't of a decent quality let's go ahead and get natalia more trained up and in that that'd give her just kind of keep her more on the the crafting tables the production tables and we'll let Tomislav do more of the research so let's raccoon leather normal 60 let's get rid of the 60s and 61s those have been rejected okay get rid of a shoddy and a poor and shoddy Poor. Here's a good alpaca wool pants. Let's keep that one. Normal, 88%. Cloth, though. Let's get rid of cloth. We're going to start making muffalo leather goods now. So we'll get rid of the cloth. Muffalo leather cowboy hat, awful. Now we'll toss that one. We'll make more. We're not out of muffalo leather. So uh, I'd rather... We'll get a you know a cobra skin cowboy hat or something really cool soon. Cloth toques. Get rid of the cloth. Uh, more cloth. We've got here alpaca wool. Cowboy hat. Awful. Get rid of that. We'll make new ones. In fact, I set uh, cowboy hats to 12. Let's make one for everybody for this summer. In case we do get a heat wave, we can we can tell everyone to uh, to put those on at least until we get a raid and we'll go put our helmets back on. Uh, cloth bowler hat. Poor. 97%. We'll toss that one. Alpaca wool. Toque. That sounds like a keeper, but it's shoddy. Okay, we'll toss it. I didn't toss the clothes last time, not wanting to give Natalia any extra work to have to go back and remake it all. But they were, were in a better condition this time than last time, so I think it's worth doing it now. So cloth cowboy hat poor, toss, alpaca wool toque poor, cloth toque superior. Uh, nope, not cloth. Let's make them out of wools. We got that now. So wool, leather, cowboy hat poor, toss that. So how are we doing? We just about made up for all that we just bought. That's good. Um, what are you? Alpaca wool, toque, normal, 97%. That's a keeper. And we've got a psychic foil helmet. That's us. Um, two of them. Okay. 
Oh, uh, let's see here. All of the furniture we can probably toss. Yeah, I think so. Wood dining chair, normal. Eh, normal is going to be our bare minimum coming up soon once we go through and build a whole bunch of furniture and pick the, the cream of the crop to put into the new base. Uh, sculptures. Everything that we want has already been put into the base, so we can get rid of all of these. And that takes almost all of their, their money. I think we've gone through it thoroughly. I don't think there's anything else that I want to second guess on our end. So that's all that we're going to get out of them. Do we want the agave for variety? It doesn't actually help the game. It's more of a role play uh, situation. It, no matter what it's made out of, it's just 0.5 nutrition and 0.5 nutrition kind of a thing. Um, now nah, we'll, we'll pass on it this time. I'd much rather have you know the 2,000 silver and be able to to sterile floor our kitchen, our future kitchen and future uh, uh, surgery with it. Because I'm not sure how far, how much it's going to take. At 15 per square, that's going to eat it up pretty fast. So let's accept that one and pause and go find Klaus and see what we need him to haul in. At least the chocolate. Gotta save the chocolate right there. Don't you let those alpacas eat our chocolate. Haul that in, please. And the dogs and pigs will haul in anything else. If, the Nutramine and the Psychic Foil Helmet should be sitting in here somewhere. Somebody's standing on it, I guess. Okay, so there's that. We can get up and running again. Okay, so have I wiped out the majority of my list? At least my homework, what I call it. Uh, the refinery is up here. Got to get that built. Got to get this done here. Alicia, where are you at? You don't freak out when you see bodies. So, yeah, I guess you are going to be... The, uh, the resident undertaker. How about you come up here and at least this one. Now, do we want to open the grave or deconstruct it? I've set it for both. If we just deconstruct it, will the body pop out? If so, then we'll deconstruct all of them. And then we'll just haul the bodies away. I've got three graves still uh, waiting for new residents. So, who's in here anyway? You are Henderson. And Strange. I remember Strange. And La. I think I remember La. <laughs> My name be La. And we've got a skeleton. All right, so let's do that one and then do this one and then bury. And I'll set you up to bury the other ones. How are your needs? You're fine. So hang around long enough to do that. That's right, we still have the work frenzy for Handy and for Tomislav. Good. Otherwise, it's pretty calm out here. Uh, there and there. Then we'll set you up to Barry Strange. One more. Right there. Then you can bury La. Alright, that's all done. Now, let's do this. Oh, i got to move some things around temporarily. If we do that, build that across there, around and like that. So this goes away, this goes away. So, deconstruct deconstruct. Let's move you to where? Don't really have a good where right now. If we do one, two, there is a pathway that's going to be blocked there. One, two, that's going to be blocked. Okay. Um, well, for the moment, you can go uh, right there. That'll work temporarily. Actually, uh, cancel that. You right there go one space in like there give us a little bit of a walkway through there okay so we'll do that and then in fact sangria you can do me a big favor and just make that happen so i can continue working here thank you uh the traps got reset good that needs to be hauled in eventually especially before that trap is built yeah before the trap is built or at least get it moved Let's do that. Klaus, that's right, I said Klaus for sewing as well. I really want to see everything that can be sewed, sewed this episode, if that's possible. Um, Sangria, haul this one. And just to get it out into here. I see the path you went there. Are you going to take the same path back? We're going to get you to drop it that doesn't land in a construction zone. Right over here will be fine. Right there. Okay. So go ahead and do what you want to do. Hauling marble chunk. Oh, so you can plant under it. Okay, that sounds good. Um, mm, not good. Let's set these guys up for hauling. Uh, orders. 
Let's get at least those four out of there, get the dogs to haul them away. Otherwise, that's that's kind of the path they would want to take. Uh, so, granite, now I need a I need a deconstructor. Almost there it is. Klaus, come over here and do this one, and then do this one. Then we can get. Uh, let's see here, structure and granite blocks. Good, right there, there, there. And then granite auto doors. Though they can walk through these. I could get by with just one right there. I could. I don't think it'll take much more time. I see Alicia every day running through here, jumping onto the, the shelves, running the shelves, jumping off, and then going in. So they can do that. Uh, they're leaving. That's fine. Got nothing more to sell them. Okay. So, in that case, let's put another granite wall right there. A little less power, a little faster to build it. And that takes care of the shells. And thank you, Mrs. Pig. Yep, Mrs. Pig. Good guess. 50-50 chance. Um, and now, the concern was whether or not we had a roof above this. Um, show that to you. Um, how best to show that? That doesn't show it, will it? I guess it will. Okay. So, we have no roof there. Okay, so let's build roof here like that otherwise actually let's build a roof there we only need it directly above them let's build roofs to there i like that better that way we can put shelves hmm we'll figure out where maybe i'll do something kind of symmetrical in here i don't know the, the table messes that up i don't want the table in here every every object that is in here takes away from the available space so there's already quite a uh, you know, a, a tiny place right here. Uh, there's the incendiary shell being put in. Good. All right, well, that's that. You were also set up. No, you are. Let's see, your storage. And you're set up for what? Weapons. Okay, I thought that was for shells, but I guess it isn't. Okay. Handy almost got the roof built, and then she had to take an emergency lunch. Otherwise, what else is happening? Down in here, got a lot of this stuff going. I set this up to a higher priority. The pigs were hauling all of the the, uh, the chunks over here. Really? So now we're going to unload this one to go fill this up because we can't find any more granite chunks? Apparently we can't. They've cleaned up in here. Huh. Okay. Now, I just got to think, and that ceiling fell in. It did. There was something long ago about taking out the ceiling in the mountain and then rebuilding it was that just an alpha 13 thing or is that still a thing if we were to remove the roof in let's do something close so that handy will uh, will be here if we were to do that it is nothing to remove okay so can nothing can remove thick roofs well yes it can you just you have a cave in <laughs> so do I need so I cannot remove roof here no can I build roof here I can construct roofs okay handy can you mining collapse but I cannot build a roof okay I can't right click it to build it okay um, out over here, if I were to build a roof um, there, although the game's probably going to have to wait till it recognizes it, I lost it. Where did I put that? Build roof right there in f in front of the pig. Okay, so if I were to have handy, oh, right click, prioritize build roof area. So this one is buildable and it can be done. So, it, we, apparently you cannot. Let's see, remove. No, ignore. Thank you. So, yeah, you cannot add roofs inside here to make a bug proof. Okay, so that was an Alpha 13 thing, and apparently it was considered a kind of a cheat workaround, so they got rid of it. Alrighty. So, ignore roof. We can't do anything with this. Though it is odd that a roof can fall in on you, which means it is removable in some extent. Anyway, um... So Michael, how you doing down here doing this job? Needs 
you're still in decent shape and we're getting toward the end of the day so it's functioning um, ugly environment we're back to ugly environment okay added more chunks more blocks not really dirty in here that I see uh, you won't clean but there's yeah there's a little bit of dirt right there and that's it okay so 35 or so minutes into this and still no new raid or anything hmm okay well let's there's a mega sloth right there that's what I'm talking about um okay this popped that popped and we're done with geothermal power all right what's next and we are unpaused when that happens okay um we're talking about the hospital bed we're talking about electric smelting though there's not a while boar is pregnant not a whole lot of uh of uh pod parts and, and you know metal slag on this map so that's not a great priority right now um let's go with this let me just glance through here recurve bow sounds interesting that's right we saw that and it wasn't any better than a great bow okay actually the great bow is considered better it's further down the line hmm okay I guess I think of a recurve as more of a, like a, a compound um long blades the different drugs brewing bed rolls that didn't move it there we go hydroponics no <clears throat> color lights nah smoke pop belts not so much though I'd be interested in the uh, uh, what are the shield belts over here eventually which comes out of this guy another wild boar what are these pigs doing down there tube television that's for entertainment right kind of like a, a pool table tube televisions production okay yeah so when we get to uh, you know to uh, living a uh, high class we'll we'll have put in a tv set uh, long range mineral scanner it gets the mineral deposits that are under the ground and then the deep drills over here and the, okay long range mineral scanner and then oh okay i was mixing these two up what are you allows the construction of a long-range mineral scanner which automatically detects precious metals like gold and jade in the nearby areas but not in which the scanners were built okay whatever that means and then this guy right here allows you to build ground penetrating scanners that will detect drillable resources for the deep drills right here okay so that's a little different and you are linking to ship sensors okay no longer inspired Thomas Lob will, will drop out of that pretty soon too so let's play with this one we need we want to get into these two also and that's that's right you can get chem fuel out of the ground can't you and as well as any of the other minerals we've got that might be kind of fun to play with get this system going so hospital then we'll move into these three oh vitals monitor that's going to go into the new hospital too all right let's get our our hospital and vitals monitors going we've got enough silver now to think about buying some some bionic parts in which case these two would really be nice to have in place if we get to that point all right hospital bed vinyls monitor and then get into the scanner and then the deep drills that's my thoughts right now you let me know if my priorities are all wrong but I think that's a a good plan for what we need what we're doing all right what's going on most everybody is sleeping except these two because there's no Z's right there uh-huh um, what's with the animals though <laughs> all right so Sienna is real close she's got to pop this episode uh, we've got two wild boars um, any more training completed you are in yeah you need to go into the wild boar zone now you two already are you're still being trained and I went ahead and went back to the idea of sitting all the wild boars that are, are they're old enough to uh, to rescue if we're gonna risk any out there I think it'd be them rather than the dogs just have to learn how to do that I'm gonna make the guess that we can simply set it to uh, uh, set the person who's down to be their master and let them loose and see what happens if we have to we'll set three or four of them to that same master and see if we can get at least one of them to respond um, 
otherwise. <clears throat> Miss B's up. Natalia's up. Natalia is probably working on a whole bunch of cowboy hats. How have you been doing with that? Are we wearing them? Michael's got one. Let's he's over here. He picked himself up a rat leather cowboy hat pour. Hmm. <clears throat> Natalia, have you been tossing them in here? Okay, we've got a raccoon hat pour. So we just don't have the uh, the skill yet, do we? That's all there is. You've spent the whole day sleeping. There's one. We have a shoddy one over here. No longer inspired. Okay. Alrighty. Well, they'll get done. That's right. Just saw that. This guy. Um, they didn't buy them because they, they weren't buying weapons. But this guy is here, not over here anymore, because he finally got out of the trap zone where the animals are not allowed to go. That's what I missed. I was going to have Handy take these three out before she uh, set the traps, and I forgot to. So I'm going to cancel that just in case she decides to go and actually do that. So deconstruct. This guy's been sitting here for a long time waiting to be deconstructed. Usually they don't do the deconstruct until they've done all the construction. So that's what I found. We've had some things set for deconstruct for episode after episode. And so I've just manually, you know, you've seen me just hold down the shift and say, do all of these deconstructs for me because I know that they're not going to do it. Used to be they would. Used to be <clears throat> you had to be careful, you know, Alpha 13, of setting anything for deconstruct because they would drop what they're doing and run across the whole map to go tear that one thing down or run all the way back. So it's not that way anymore. All right, so we're 40-some minutes into this. No excitement yet, but we're sure getting a lot done over here. Um, got a lot of our doors in. It's been so long since a real raid. I'm debating whether to compact machinery. Okay. Debating whether to um, have Handy start tearing some of these doors down and replacing them or not. I know it's it's definitely a weak point in our defenses. Hmm. Where are the pigs going? You are grabbing steel, so you're up in here somewhere. <clears throat> hmm. Where? Down in here. Ah. Okay. They're cleaning up this area. Oh, I'm gonna mark you. Something like that. Let's cancel those two and maybe some of the deeper ones. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Handy, you're not up yet. When you do needs, you need to grab a meal. But if I tell you to grab a meal, then you won't also equip one. So I'm going to... Well, I can, I can tell you right now. Yeah, you'll equip it right afterward. And you'll miss a little on your sleep, which... Did not give you a disturbed sleep. Interesting. So I wonder if it's only... Well, I don't know. Sometimes you wake him up and, and you get penalized for it, but that time it didn't happen. Anyway, you, once you're done eating, let's see if you will take a fine meal. And you did. Good. Out of wood again. Okay. Um, hmm. Why don't you do this one first? Then, let's take you up here. And which one... I think there's no point in breaking these doors because they can just walk through. <clears throat> I'd say this would be the place to start. So, I can't say replace. I have to just destroy first, unfortunately. So, Handy, when you're done with that, come up here and... Boy. <clears throat> now, let's do this differently. Cancel that. Let's get a stockpile of granite blocks up here. These two trees have a little problem. <laughs> yeah, let's get a stockpile of granite blocks up here first. So there's less running around. And the auto door takes what? Uh, we don't have one, right? No. Nope. Build copy? No. Nope. We'll get a little we'll shortcut me into it. Structure. <clears throat> you are components and steel and granite blocks. Okay. So do that. Where can we put a quick stockpile over here? 
Uh, components need to be under a roof. Let's get a component stockpile over. Did we? I thought about. That just got me thinking. <clears throat> we need those components for the assault rifles over here. Wouldn't hurt to have a component stockpile down here too. We just don't have enough components to satisfy two stockpiles. But let's get a... I guess the dogs can do this. Yeah, they, that's, that's one thing to... One way to do this. Stockpile. <clears throat> Where to? Let's just... Right there. And then another one right there. And another one right there. Well, that one will extend a little. Let's get two stacks of granite blocks over here. Storage. <clears throat> clear. <clears throat> Critical. Blocks. Stone blocks. Granite. Alright, so that is that one. I need to make sure nothing else down there is critical or they won't move it from there to here. You, actually, let's just copy and paste and paste. Alright, this one, not granite blocks. You instead will be, um, what, manufactured components? Right there and steel. So I need a stack of... Do we want two stacks of steel? Unroofed. Oh. What was that noise? Hmm. Um, I think I want two stacks of steel. So you move over to there. Okay. And you will be... No. There. You will not be... Granite blocks. You will be raw resources down here. Steel. Okay. So, oh, that's already working. Good. So they're they're hauling the stuff. <clears throat> that means all of our components going to land in here, unfortunately. But I'll just be temporary. Seeing us giving birth. Whoa. Who? Bugsy and Anastasia. Wow. Okay. Anastasia, female. Bugsy, a female. So we have two more female dogs. Any more? No, oh, there's another one. Bambino male. Okay, Bugsy, Bambino, and Anastasia are the, the newest generation. Okay. And uh, I was going to say with that, that sounds like a good note to close on, but if I stop 10 minutes early, I'll get complaints. So <laughs> let's go a little bit longer. <clears throat> Maybe enough time to... I uh, see we're getting close here. Uh, to get a, a ray to drop in, and I say, and we'll do that next time. Handy, you are down here hauling marble to wall blueprint. Okay, you're okay. I'll let you haul the marble, and I'm gonna tab you up, go up there, and see if we get one door built before this episode's done. You're going where? Out oh, over here. Okay, that works. <clears throat> then deconstruct. And handy, hop over here and actually do that right now. We'll break your pattern. Michael, what are you doing? Are you Oh, man. Oh, boy. Because I've got Michael, I've got the bench set to not drop on floor because it would pile up all around his feet. But rather to go ahead and put it away because the stockpiles are all next to him. Yeah, now he's got to go put it away all the way up here. And of his 30, or whatever, 35 that he makes, yeah. Okay, how do we deal with that one? Because there's no way that I can, hmm, yeah. <laughs> I guess we're going to drop on four for a while. So granite blocks, details, go ahead and drop on floor. Marble, you're not going to get to for a while. So, and it won't really affect this. Okay. So, granite, you're just going to make a mess down there. All right. So, Handy, did I ever get you up here? I did. And more steel's on its way, more components. Good. Like, since they're bringing it up just one little stack at a time, let's try this. Let's put a component pile down here and see if we can get some to go in each direction. So, stockpile right there. And we'll take the same format of this one not the wild boar there copy 
and paste. Maybe some of these could haul in two different directions. They don't seem to be gathering them all up like I was expecting. A whole stack of them at once. They're bringing little parts here and there. So that should be fine. So here's more of it coming in. Yeah, we're good. Here comes Handy. Good. Let's get uh, <clears throat> at least one of them built. One at a time. Just in case a raid does pop in on us. Now, stop. All right. Now you, production, uh, structure, granite auto door right there. And Handy, let's wipe this one out. And you're willing to do it with a with the wood in the way. Yeah, and it'll hold the door open when it's done. It's, dun, 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 dun. it's stuck. But I'm sure there'll be a pig coming out here real soon. Hello. Are you gonna wander in? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Now Handy, you're giving up on me, aren't you? Let's go back to yeah, building a granite wall. Let's go back to this one. Don't know what. Oh, whenever somebody walks through what she's doing, they will cancel. That's right. Ran into that one before. So you've got to babysit if it's something you really need done and it's in a high traffic zone. All right. So we got all the supplies there. She's building it and it is done. Okay. Add about 10 seconds there. Okay. That one's done. Don't have power. That's right, these don't have extension cords, do they? Show me the power. They do. It does grab. Okay. Then let's work with this one then, Handy. Let's tear this one down. <clears throat> then let's get one more built. Structure. Granite door. Oh, you're so fast. <laughs> All right, let's right there. Work on the granite door. We'll grab some more steel. Need another piggy up here to get this wood out of here before he tries to make it in. There you go. Oh, they're so eager. Another wild boar is pregnant. Yeah. And... Hmm. Sangria. Let's keep you up there. Let's see if you go milking um, male boomalopes this episode. <laughs> That's so wrong. All right. So there's the, uh, the blocks. Hopefully we'll get a... Uh, Little piggy to haul some more blocks in soon. There's 35 left. The door takes how much? Right there. You. 25. We can do one more. And that will probably be the end of this episode. Uh, turkey up here is eating our food. And so is this guy. Okay. Hunt. And hunt. Yeah. We're not going to continue that. And you are one of ours? Nope. Hunt. Okay. Don't know who's set for hunting. Apparently rabbit's not anymore. Nope. Though we could just get it done. Rabbit. Uh, you've got the pistol now. Let's do the wild boar last. Just in case. Okay, it's in. Klaus, hunt this one. you got the assault rifle. Handy. Hmm. Don't go far. <clears throat> okay, a little closer there, Klaus. But good shooting so far. Rabbit got his... Uh, got it, okay. And yeah, we need to off this guy. I'll, I'll do it off camera. He takes a lot of shots and he squeals a lot, so that's not something that's fun to record. Otherwise... Sangria has named Doe One. Oh, do we have a pet deer now? Hot, Hachiko. <sighs> yeah, we've got a Hachiko. Look at that. Dog is nuzzling up. Yeah, so we now have a Hachiko. Hmm. I guess we have a pet deer. Yeah, should have made deer burgers out of it while I could. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to call it done here before any more damage happens. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and have Handy replace... Oh, I did an auto door there, didn't I? I was thinking a granite door. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll auto door two paths from this side. 
We'll see. Rather than tear it down. Um, I don't know. I wonder what I want to do there. We could... Well, I was going to say we could just do the outer ones, but still, if they're inside and they bust through here, they're into our armory. Outer ones and inner ones. Only. That makes sense. I mean, they might bust through a middle. They still have a lot of gauntlet to go. Unless they take that one out. Hmm. Well, we'll start with the outer and the inner. And then we'll work more in later as we can. But yeah, I'm going to stop there. I'll do some more of this off screen. And, <clears throat> though not much more, because we've got to have a raid dropping in here soon of some kind. So, there it was. Was was there a... Uh, I don't know. I'll have to go back and look to see if Sangria threw any of that time, if that was even up. I don't remember how many times I clicked on other people. Probably wasn't. I was working with Handy a lot. I want to know when the milking's happening. <laughs> what are you? Wild Boar is carrying 20, 40, 60, which means we're going to have some... Uh, where are you carrying them to? Oh, you're probably carrying this way. Okay. So I guess the chem fuel could be stored down here, though... You know, chem fuel in the house doesn't sound like the smartest thing to do, but this is where it's being manufactured. We'll see. We have a chem fuel, you know, strong room somewhere in the base for, for storage later. But, yep, I'm going to call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.